Alright, welcome back to the Ultimate LCD Gaming Table. In this video I'm going to show you how the table actually functions by using the infrared miniature that I made here. Um, as you saw in the previous video, this is the actual game board. Um, I'll zoom in here a little bit, you can see that there's a couple of miniatures to represent the players. And then in this example I've got an owl bear over here, kind of in the middle of the road. And the way this works is really simple. You just put the infrared miniature on top and press and hold the button. And wherever you move it, you'll see that the token moves right along with it. And we've got the snap to grid turned on, so it'll pop to whichever square it happens to be next to. And uh, another cool feature you can see here with the map tools is it actually counts the squares for you. So you'll know exactly how far you're moving. So like that's 30, so we'll let go there, and then the miniature moves to that square. And then the same with this one, you just put it over. You can actually see the infrared light turning on. Um, when you're normally playing, that's invisible to our eyes, but on this camera can see it. And we'll move it there. And that's how that works. It's really simple. Um, now part of the game uh, map tool system you'll see that there's a circle around when you select a character it changes and what that represents is the visibility or the sight for that particular token uh, you can turn on fog of war or you can set it to night or day uh, this particular one I have right now is set to day so that really doesn't have any effect but if you had turned it to night, then when you select a token, anything that's outside of that circle, for example, this owl bear, you wouldn't see it because it's out of that player's visibility. So that token would actually disappear. Um, the same with the fog of war, the whole screen would be black. And then as you move, it would actually make anything in that circle visible, but everything else would be black. So that kind of is a cool feature but I don't have that turned on here so that's about how that works it's really simple and uh, we'll see you in the next video